So money making within Dying Light 2 is well an important part of the process and well today I bring you an amazing way for new players or newish players to earn tons of money. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Dying Light be sure to subscribe. So within this city there are tons of possible money making methods and I won't sit here and tell you this is the best that's going to pop up, it's still real early days yet. But what I will say is this is an amazing way for newish players to earn tons of money especially playing solo. Ok so on the map as you can see right here is the large windmill, go here and establish this safe zone. So from here, you can see this Forsaken store loot source on the map. This is where you want to come to. Now what I will mention, within this loot source, there are actual crystal cores. And I believe there's like 4 or 5 in total here. These can also be farmed too. But this, in reality, is only just a part of this farm. So if you come here at night, the zombies are lying in the streets. And this loot source, this store, this Forsaken store, isn't in the shape we need it to farm it. So with this, it's definitely best to come here in the day. All you need to do is make sure you have a weapon, doesn't have to be anything major, just make sure you have a weapon. So make your way here from that windmill. And once you get here guys, it's pretty simple. Go into this loot store and round these zombies up by running around this place. Waking them all up, grabbing their attention and making them chase you. Then run back to the main door you came in through. Then guys it's simple to stand close to the door and swing that weapon and take all these zombies out. Now there are tons of zombies here, 20 plus maybe. Like I said at night time there's barely any in here, they're all outside so if you come outside of this door at night you'll get ambushed by zombies on the streets. So coming here in the day, rounding them up like this, then clearing them all out from outside of the door is super super simple. Once you've done that simply go back and loot all the bodies. Now these drop money materials etc etc etc. Also don't forget within this room are those crystals. Now once you've grabbed all that loot, now simply head back to that windmill safe house, literally 20 seconds away from here. From here guys you can either sell what you've just farmed, stash it or do whatever you want with it. Once you're done simply quit out of the game and load straight back in people. Once you've loaded straight back in, you can run straight back to that store. And guess what? Yes, all the zombies will have respawned and you can repeat the process. Now the crystals within this room are on a timer it seems and I believe it's around the 20 to 30 minutes real life time but they do eventually respawn. Now besides the money you make farming the zombies here you can also make tons via selling the farm loot like I said earlier. The crystals sell from 200 coins upwards and everything else although at a lower price is a price definitely worth your time in farming this because you do make quick cash. Now later on in the game there's no doubt going to be higher leveled places you can do this with so keep that in mind. If I do stray across anything like this I will for sure let you guys know via my channel here uploaded via a video. So do subscribe if you're new around here and you want to see more Dying Light. Also guys join my discord or tweet at me if you found something interesting that you want to share with the world. Both are linked below. But yes guys take advantage of this while you can and I hope it helps you out. On that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.